Kate and Audrey in the morning, afternoon, or evening, or whenever we decide to film this. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Audrey. And this is our podcast. In the streets. With Kate and Audrey. Yay! Welcome back. Welcome back. Our sincerest apologies. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Whoopsies. Been away. Yeah. For a minute. For a hot minute. No excuses. No excuses. Lots of chores Just. at the prison. Just stuff to do, you know, yeah. Um, Some solitary, a little bit, you know. Lots of Sundays where we said, we'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> Just, we did it. No, we did But not. we're back. We're back. We're back now. We're excited. This is a continuation we're of here. season four. Yes. We're, it just, it keeps going. Um, we make the rules. <laughs> exactly. This is our podcast. Audrey, where are you from? Uh, <laughs> 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 I knew I was catching you off guard with that. <laughs> I'm from Bellinua. Ah, yeah. what's it like there? It's beautiful. It's a uh, it's an island country in the Pacific. Slay. Yes, yeah, so it's really lovely. It's warm. It's tropical. Cool. The beaches are nice and white and sandy and all nice. that jazz. Yeah, it's really lovely out there. Why'd you move? <sighs> well, I don't know. I can't remember anymore. But I remember deciding to move. <laughs> you can't remember why you moved. <laughs> When did you move? <laughs> I moved a couple years ago. And you can't remember? <laughs> no, I don't know. I think I came for university. Mm. But now you're in jail. Yeah. <laughs> so, womp womp. <laughs> so that happens. Are you still from Saskatchewan? Kate? Oh, yeah. Okay. Forever and always. Very good. Can't, can't escape the prairie roots. <laughs> no. Um, well, dear listener, how are you doing today? Where are you from? Yeah. Wow. wow. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> yeah, sounds so interesting. I'm glad you're having a good day. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, all right. Well, do we want to just jump straight into some Yeah, I topics? believe you had a question. I did have a question for you. Kate, how many owls? Five. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even finish my question. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many Five. <laughs> I'm confident the answer's five. <laughs> your, yeah, your answer's five. But just for the viewers, <laughs> listeners, what is, what's the question? How many owls <laughs> would you need to have seen in a day for you to think something has gone terribly wrong? Five. Five? Yeah. Oh. What's your answer? Like 15. Yeah, I know. Our answers are very different. Yeah. But I just, I don't see owls on the regular. So one owl is like, oh, that's cool. Two is like, man, this is like double rainbow level. Yeah. Three, I'm like, wait a minute. Four, I'm like, this is this is definitely weird. Five, I'm like panicking, cause why are there five owls? I gotta see like I feel like if I see five owls throughout the day, like that's like yeah, those are just they're birds. Like I see them no, around. No, we, we don't. Could it be really the same owl over here. and over again? Like, well, it know? could be, but I wouldn't know. That's true. Which is why I gotta say like at least fifteen owls. Like it's gotta mm. be a like an absurd number of owls for me to be like something's funky, something's yeah. fishy here. Fair. I, I'm still sticking with five. <laughs> I just feel like that's enough. I don't. Th- I don't even remember the last time I saw an owl. Oh. Like it was probably months and months and months ago. Actually, did you hear that someone in our friend group was possessed by an owl? No, I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> no, I will it. not. I will not be entertaining <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Okay. <laughs> Have you listened to the new Ariana Grande song? Um, yes and yes and yes and <laughs> i am not gonna lie it's not very girl boss queen icon of her to break up a marriage no, it really is <laughs> and then just release a song and be like yes and <laughs> okay ariana grande are we doing improv right now what's happening what is going on what um, did you think of yes and obviously the subject matter is a little wonky but it is a bop song and i do play it it's catchy so fair. Yeah. I haven't listened to it more than once, if I'm being honest. But also, the guy's like the voice of SpongeBob, isn't he? Yeah, he plays SpongeBob in the. Broadway and he musical. looks like her brother. It's weird. Yeah. Like, they look weirdly like. He plays what's his name? Not Spock, Bach, something like that. He plays something in Wicked. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Spock from um, <laughs> Star Trek, and no. I was like, no, he does not play Spock from Star Trek. I was trying to remember the name of the character in Wicked that he plays. <laughs> Ariana Grande and Spock from Star Trek. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's My the favorite next couple. couple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of music, the Grammys. Yeah, the Grammys are coming out today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, probably I don't know when this is coming out. No. They might have passed. Yeah. Um, do you need Grammy let's, predictions? Let's do some predictions. Yeah. Oh, I okay. I have some things to talk about too. Okay. 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 Um, let's pull up. Let's pull. I gotta up. go to Grammy.com. Grammy.com. I don't think it's Grammys.com. It is Grammys.com. Let's see. Boy Genius was nominated for a whole bunch. Oh, I love Boy Genius. I love Boy Genius too. Ugh. Always an angel, never a god. So true. We were talking about that the so other day. So true. <laughs> um, let's see. I literally will someone just tell me the nominations, please. Yeah, I will. Oh. So for record of the year, um, you have Worship, John Batiste, not strong enough, Boy Genius. Ugh, love that song. Flowers, Miley Cyrus, What Was I Made for? Billy Eilish, On My Mama, Victoria Monet. Vampire, Olivia Rodrigo, Antihero, Taylor Swift, and Kill Bill by SZA. So that's the nominations for best song? Yeah, for a record of the year. Hmm. I am... Oh, sorry. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> bless you. I'm allergic to music, I guess. <laughs> I don't think Worship's going to win. No. I love Not Strong Enough. I don't think it's going to win. No. I think it's going to be What Was I Made For? Because I think they're going to be trying to fix the, the Globes mistakes. And Globes. Yeah, yeah. From that, I think that... That's gonna happen. Yeah, I feel like SZA is gonna win something. True. Because they won, she won record of the year back with "Kiss Me More" with Doja Cat, or like they, I think they won pop duo or something. Yeah. Kiss me more. That was a good da. one. That was a good one. It's so catchy. I feel like she would win record of the year with Kill Bill because that one was like, or like that was iconic. Or I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That one's hard. Okay, album of the year, uh, World Music Radio, John Batiste. I don't know who that is, but that's okay. The record, Boy Genius. Come on. Endless Summer Vacation, Miley Cyrus. Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard, Lana Del Rey? The Age of Pleasure, Janelle Monet. Guts, Olivia Rodrigo. Midnight's Taylor Swift, SOS SZA. I think Miley Cyrus is going to win. I don't think Miley Cyrus should, should win. win. Yeah. I think she's going to win that. Who I want to win is either Boy Genius or Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, I, I would, love yeah. Guts. Anyways. Guts is a good album. I would vote... Lana Del Rey. Fair. Or Boy Genius. So fair. But yeah, I think Miley Cyrus would win. I don't think... I just feel like they're going to give it to her. Yeah. I feel like there's better... I don't know. I like some of the other ones more. Yeah, fair. Okay, so for Song of the Year, there's A&W by Lana Del Rey, Antihero, Taylor Swift, Butterfly, John Batiste, Dance the Night, Dua Lipa, Flowers, Miley Cyrus, Kill Bill, SZA, Vampire, Olivia Rodrigo, and What Was I Made For? I'm going... I need to see it again. Yeah. Um, wait, did we not already do this? No, this is Song of the Year. What is Record me. of the Year? I think it's like record numbers or something. Oh. I don't know. The definitions um, are there. I just didn't read them. I would say... I'm going to go either Lana Del Rey. Maybe they'll do Taylor for this one. I feel like she's yeah. going to win something. Yeah. Or, I think Kill Bill definitely has a shot. Yeah, oh, for sure. I agree. So, best new artist. This is what we're all here okay, for. This is important. This is what I need to yeah. talk about. Gracie Abrams. Iconic. Fred again. Great. Ice Spice. Icon. Love Ice Spice. Jelly Roll. Cool. Coco Jones. Slay. Noah Khan. Oh, love him. My favorite ever. <laughs> Victoria Monet. Cool. And The War and Treaty. I've heard of them. Oh. They're cool. Okay, okay. Um... I think I've heard I've heard that name. Um, let me think. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, let's see. Racy, love her. She's love not gonna Racy. win. I don't think um, so either. I she's think so sad. Victoria Monet is gonna win, mm-hmm. or the War and Treaty. Yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those two. I want Noah Khan to win, but I don't because of the best new artist curse. Oh, and I don't want him to fall to that because people who win like best new artists or breakout artists, like. Their numbers all crash, like, not long after. Have you heard of this? No. It's like, okay, I got to pull this up. Yeah. I got to pull this up. Let me see. Let me just go on Wikipedia and decide who's still relevant and who's not. Okay. Okay, I don't want to start in the 1960s. That's okay. We're a little past that. (laughs) A little bit. A couple years. Okay. Samara Joy ran, Samara Joy ran, ran, won last year. I didn't know Samara Joy. I don't know them. Pre or post, so I can't say anything. Olivia Rodrigo won. That is not falling in. No. 
because I'd say Olivia. Olivia did have a dip in her career, but I'd say she yeah. bounced back. Megan the Stallion, I would argue, low key is getting the best new artist curse. Yeah. I just feel like... Like, she used to be all over the place. She's still relevant. This is the thing. Is they're still relevant, yeah. but they're not as they're big not as, as they were as they when were they before. won. Yeah. Billie Eilish, controversial, but Billie Eilish is definitely not as relevant as she has been before. Yeah. Because she no, won in 2020. Yeah. And I feel like this is going to be so controversial and people are going to come at me, but I think that what kept her relevant was this Barbie movie. Yeah. I think that that was like... Yeah, because she hasn't released, like, Happier Than Ever came out in 2020 in 2020 or 2021 legit like ages ago now and then Dua Lipa won in 2019 and we all know love Dua Lipa yeah but after Future Nostalgia came out in 2019 and after that she hasn't released very much other than Houdini and Dance the Night and that's made her a little bit more relevant but well also like that was 2019 so she dipped for a bit she'd be bouncing back now yeah okay well this is my favorite example and I love her Alicia Cara oh I love Canadian icon Okay, I loved her music, and then she won Best New Artist, and she hasn't really been... Like, no. she's done a couple things, but they're not getting numbers. No, I like I checked up on her the other day to see if she'd released any new, new music. She's got, like, four new albums. Legit. Since then. I was like, whoa, what? Anyways, there's a bunch more, but there's a Best New Artist curse. Yeah. And so I love Noah Khan, but I don't want him to fall to it. Yeah, I think Victoria Monet would win. Yeah, and I don't want her to fall to it either. No. For no, the exactly. record. We, we... I just think she will win. Yeah. And uh, producer of the year, Jack Antonoff. He's going to win. Jack yeah, Antonoff's sure. going to win. We're not even going to read the other ones. <laughs> All respect to the rest of them, but we're just going to go ahead. This is their songwriter of the year for non-classical. Do we know any of these names nope. here? Okay. I feel, like, I feel like we've got it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, best pop solo performance? Flowers, Paint the Town Red, What Was I Made oh. For, Vampire, Antihero. I think Paint the Town Red's gonna win. Yeah, that song's so good. And it was very big. And then Best I think it's Pop controversial Jewel? that it wins. Yeah. Because it's about the devil. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's a great song. It's <laughs> so catchy. It's so boppy. I love it. Um, and then Best Pop Duo, we have Thousand Miles, Miley Cyrus featuring Brandy Carly, Candy Necklace, Lana Del Rey featuring John Batiste, Never Felt So Alone Labyrinth featuring Billie Eilish, Karma. Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice. I think Ghost in the Machine says that featuring Phoebe Bridgers. I think it's be Karma. Yeah, I think that's I think so too. I think Taylor's gonna get the award there, and that's how Ice Spice is gonna get an award. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, best pop vocal album: Chemistry, Kelly Clarkson, Endless Summer Vacation, Miley Cyrus, Guts, Olivia Rodrigo, Substract, Ed Sheeran, and Midnight Taylor Swift. I think Ed's gonna win, but I want Olivia to win. Yeah, yeah. Ed had a good album though. I'm trying to find like some. Where's, like, just artist of the year instead of just best new artist, you know? Did we go over those already? I can't remember anymore. I don't know. We could just say who we think artist of the year is going to be. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Taylor could take it. Yeah. She was so big. I feel like it's hard to argue yeah. against her being artist of the year. Yeah. No, I agree. So, anyways, Grammys later today. Very exciting. We'll see. <laughs> we definitely have an in. These yeah. are all true facts. Exactly. Uh, these are our... We just we already know what happened. Actually, yeah. this is this is what happened, and we're right. Are you gonna Always? watch the Grammys later? No. No. Are you gonna watch the Grammys <laughs> no. later? No, I have so much homework. To do. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> I got a grocery shop, and then do a lot of homework because I was supposed to do lots of homework yesterday, um, because our dear friend Emerson came over mm-hmm. to watch mm-hmm. the All Star NHL game. Yeah, he did. And the plan was to do homework while the game was on, but. You quickly realize that when there's hockey on, you can't really do no, homework because you, really you have to watch. Yeah, so true. So that didn't quite work out. So yeah. now I have a lot to do. Yesterday I went to the library with intentions of doing homework, and then I didn't. Nope, but so that's I, okay. Exactly, it's okay. It's fine. There's today. Exactly, there's still today. So we'll all recover. Exactly. That's the spirit. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to our list. We winter break. Stuff. Oh yeah, what did you do over winter break, Kay? What did I do over winter break? Oh, how could I forget? So I went home. Yeah, um, you did. To my hometown of uh-huh. Saskatchewan. That is the hometown. Yeah. The entire province. The whole province is your hometown. Um, and hung out there for a bit and had a really splendid time. There was no snow. It oh, was re- well. There was uh-huh. some snow, but it was really weird. We had a brown yeah, Christmas. That is weird. Which is was the first time in a very long time that this happened. Um, and then shout out climate change. Whoop. whoop. Um, and then I went to Europe. Yeah. For a week. 10 days. I don't remember the exact amount of days, but I went to London 
and Scotland with my family, my very large family. And Did you have a nice time? <laughs> yeah, I had a great time. Um, one of my, so my one family friend that's out there who's like my sister, she's been out there for a minute. Mm-hmm. So she knew all the places to go and all the Aww. things to do. So we went to like all the classic spots. I have multiple pictures with telephone boxes. That's it was awesome. very tourist core. Um, and I loved it. And then it's like in London, it was really cool. We did like the London Eye and the dungeons and all the things. And then in Scotland, we went and saw the Highland Cows. Oh, which was adorable. cool. And there's lots of castles. Kind of sad you didn't bring one home. but that's I okay. tried, but they wouldn't let me. No. <laughs> Couldn't get it through security. <laughs> that's a shame. Um, but the whole trip was great. It had its mishaps, though. Like, we did get scammed out of an Airbnb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> turns out if your Airbnb is named Satrap, so that when you say the name, <laughs> you say it's a trap. Yeah. You probably shouldn't book it. No, you And especially it has not. no reviews, and it was just put up a week prior. Yeah. And then you definitely shouldn't walk all the way to it when they don't respond to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then try and get in as if, like, it was going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you get a beautiful Airbnb instead for way yeah. cheaper. And so, you get your money back. But so, don't stay in Airbnbs called Satrap. No. Don't, don't do that. Good life lessons here. That's what I'm saying. And you know what? It's just, like, it's character building. Exactly. Exactly. You know? It's a funny story for later. Shout out to my mom for booking it. Um, she's no longer allowed to book any Airbnbs <laughs> thus forward. Fair enough. Fair enough. I respect that. What do you do for break God? I also went to Europe. Slay, but we didn't cross paths. We did not. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Um... Where did I go? I went to France. What do you mean, where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> you went to Paris. <laughs> I went to France. I went to Paris. I, I went down to the, well, not in this order, but I went down to the Loire Valley and out to, like, rural France. Um, oh. I really liked rural France, but, like, when my dad was like, oh, we're going to rural France, I was like, oh, awesome. But this was, like, rural yeah rural <laughs> france like the nearest other building was like a 20 minute drive nice and there was like grain elevators <laughs> and sounds all like the home little, to me exactly all the towns seemed to be abandoned and like um all the churches were like super old and it was crazy to me because i was like in this place and i was thinking to myself like these people that live here they've probably lived here like their whole families have been here since for like thousands and thousands yeah. of years like this is like where they've been forever which is so insane like europe is so much older it is so old like i know like everywhere is really old but like it's insane like we went to this church that was built in like the 10th century which is crazy insane yeah um so that was wild love love that went to paris my favorite place in the whole world i got to see the eiffel tower for the first time how many times did it take for you to go so you saw the five eiffel tower. trips to wow. paris to see the eiffel tower that was my fifth time i like to see the eiffel tower it was great i was beautiful did you see it sparkle i did not see it sparkle okay well we're gonna so go and see exactly it exactly we'll go again and see it sparkle hey not in the streets of paris <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> we'll bring a podcast live in france oh yeah um but it was it was really cool i saw a rainbow over the louvre which i thought was so cool that's really cool i was cool. like this is incredible wow um and i also had beef with the french postal service for a while nice because i went to multiple like tabacs and multiple post offices and multiple banks across france looking for international stamps and nowhere (laughs) did they have any so i had to just mail it all domestically when i got back home nice so it was really unfortunate so uh post francaise i am coming for you it's on site so fair i am mad at them <laughs> but yeah i had a great time it was so lovely i'm glad yeah, i can't wait to go again with you yeah me too um, um people are messaging us people are messaging us oh it's about f1 we should talk about that yeah. oh no, it's about the grammys oh the grammys um oh it's about being reputation oh people think aka our friends and a lot of other people think yeah. oh there goes my phone think that taylor's gonna announce reputation taylor's version at the grammys yeah i don't think so you don't think so no where do you think she's gonna announce i don't think she's gonna announce it for another minute like i think i think it's gonna be like another month oh like i think she's holding it but that's an unpopular opinion yeah i think she's going to announce it night one of tokyo Mm. however consider the fact that she just changed her profile picture to be black and white she did that not like a while ago though her friends did 
Yeah, all of her, but this is her now. Oh, I don't she know. She hadn't done that until I'm not even going to you. I don't think I follow her. <laughs> <laughs> Love her, though. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, we're checking right now. Am I following her? <laughs> do. Do I? Am no, I a I real fan? So. <laughs> no. No. Sorry, Taylor. You don't follow Taylor. Yikes. That's rough. It's okay. Uh, Taylor Nation is still regular colors, though, and 1989, so very interesting, very fascinating. So interesting, so fascinating. Yeah. Um, we also um, we went on a little weekend trip recently, too. True. We can talk about that. That was fun. We um, went swimming. We went swimming in a lake in freezing waters. So cold. And then we got into a hot tub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we, we overloaded the, it. Yeah, we did overload the hot tub, but that's okay. Because it was. It was, it was cool. Yeah, it was fun. It was, cool. it it was, was a good great. trip. I had a fantastic time. The pause time. there was concerning. Yeah, I was trying to think what we did. I feel like we, like we, we took a hung out a lot. Yeah, we went yeah, on a hike. We did a hike. We did homework. We did some homework. It was a busy weekend for all the jail yeah people. what was your favorite part like what was your highlight of that weekend mm, seeing the stars was really cool oh that there was there were really lots awesome. of stars i had really a million cool. highlights we did that yeah, dance that whole, party in the kitchen that, that was, was my favorite highlight that dance party i think about that dance party every day like that's become my room <laughs> it's my favorite thing ever swimming in the lake was fun that was, so it was freezing fun. yeah and I, it feels like very refreshing yeah we went in a couple of times too it was good yeah, no, it was a good weekend. It was a great weekend. I was time. Yeah. And yeah. Cool. It what was what, really lovely. What else? Was there anything else? We no, were... it was just an anecdote that I had. Speaking of anecdotes, I remember we talked about this ages ago and then we never did. But we were gonna talk about your haircutting business. Oh, <laughs> I do have a, a low key haircutting business. I cut Audrey's hair. Yeah, you did. Well actually like I've cut hair before that, not very much though, but I cut Audrey's hair. Yeah, you did. And then I went to Quebec City to visit some friends, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I cut my hair and a bunch of other people's hair. And then I went home for Christmas. Yeah. And my friends and I, my hometown friends and I, had started a haircutting business yeah, by just did. asking people if we could cut their hair. And when they said no, we would be like, please. "Please." And then they'd be like, "Okay." And so we cut their hair, and then we're continuing it this summer. Okay. Because people said we could do whatever we want to their hair specifically guys because then they can just buzz it yeah so we are going to give them really funky haircuts and then oh, they're going to buzz that. it that's fun. um and i'm also supposed to cut Gemma's hair potentially okay at some point but i'm going to need your help okay uh, <laughs> because God, yeah i am not actually good at cutting hair i just do it very <laughs> confidently take scissors <laughs> and you actually do cut hair i do cut hair i have my own low-key hair cutting business my own i've cut a couple friends hair a couple colleagues hairs there you go um I cut my own hair the day that you cut my hair. Yeah, I also she went didn't like my hair <laughs> <laughs> that I gave her. <laughs> so I, I went in with the scissors and started <laughs> hacking at it. And then Natasha had to go in and fix it for us. <laughs> so shout out Natasha for that. Uh, but yeah, so if any listeners out there want a haircut. Kid cut your hair and interview you yeah. at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Like uh, Jeff. Yeah. That guy from David's vlog. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. His barber. I just yeah. couldn't tell if that was a yes of like, yes, I get it. Or like, yes, of like, Kate, come on. Why would I know this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do know. I mean, I <laughs> never know like if things are too, past, are too niche. <laughs> no, I know things. Um, and then the final thing I wanted to talk about. Sorry, there's just so many things to yeah, talk no, about Yeah, no, let's today. talk about it. Um, I noticed a very interesting pattern, Kate. Oh, Yeah. Um, you seem to reference the year 1812. I do. A lot. It's my favorite year. Um, for example, in the last episode, you referenced it <laughs> twice. <laughs> it's the go-to. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to explain why you like that year so much? Do you have a reason? I do have a reason. Oh my gosh, so what's the there's reason? this old Canadian show mm-hmm. that used to play on YTV mm-hmm. called oh. Mr. Young. And it was about <laughs> it's it's okay, people some people know it, some people don't. Do you yeah. know Mr. Young? No. That's okay. You also, I, grew up in Belly Nua, I was gonna say, so. you weren't really here. I don't know why you would have. <laughs> they don't the, have white TV in Belly Nua. The Canadian things. It was like a Life with Derek type show. Okay. I like, think Life with Derek. Um, think of that filming style. Okay. That's Mr. Young. Do you know Life with Derek? No, I do not. Dang, <laughs> they didn't have that out there. I'm Life Googling with Derek it. is also good. <laughs> Life with. That's the one where the brother and sister are stepbrother and sister, and like they have weird tension. I have never seen this. Okay, well that's gonna be a deep dive in the next episode. Okay, okay. Um, because life with Derek is important. Okay. Okay, it's weird though. Like they're like there's weird sexual chemistry between them, but they're siblings. Oh. It's really weird. <laughs> that is weird. Anyways, Mr. Young was about this guy who was like 15 or something. He was in high school, 
and he was a genius. And so mm-hmm. what did he use his geniusness for? To become a science teacher at his high school that um, his friends and his sister attend. So oh. he teaches his best friend, his crush, and his bully science. Um, and his older sister's so embarrassed. Anyways, in this show, there's um, a reoccurring bit yeah. Um, in the history class, and like Mr. Young, the guy, always goes into this class, and like all his students go into this class, and there's this really old teacher, and she's so old that she forgets what she has and hasn't taught. So every episode, when they cut to this classroom, she's teaching about the War of 1812. Oh, that's and funny. And so that's why that's the war in the year that I reference every time, because she always she always asks the question, what year? was the War of 1812. Oh, that's And so funny. that's why I do that. I like that a lot. That's Thank you. Fun. Thank you. I appreciate it. So that's shout out to really Mr. Fun. Young for yeah. changing the chemistry of my brain. Yeah, maybe um, I'll watch that show now. It is. it is. It was good when I was 12. It is probably less good now, but yeah. I still recommend it. All right. I'm well, pretty sure you can probably find it for free on YouTube. For sure, yeah. I'll do a little quick Google search. Yeah. Find it there. Anyways, so yeah. uh, we're back. Yeah, we are. We can't promise. We can't promise when the next one will come out. Hopefully, we can get on a regular yeah schedule. Oh, yeah. Before we depart again. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Because next week, <laughs> I have three midterms. And then we have um, freedom mm-hmm. from jail. Yeah, and so we're both gone. And, and then, then after that... <laughs> We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. An we'll episode some, will come soon. If we have hopefully. to film it on voice memos on our phone, we have to film it on voice memos <laughs> exactly. on our phone. Exactly. Go for a walk and talk. <laughs> Anyways, should we do our Oh yeah. A round of applause yeah, for Yeah, of course. I gotta pull up the soundboard again. I never have it ready. That's I okay. feel like I should This is okay. this it's a learning curve. Exactly. yeah. Hopefully by season twelve. We'll yeah, legit. It. Yeah. And it's gonna okay. be a long time yeah. until season twelve at this rate. <laughs> exactly, it really is. All right. Round of applause for you guys for listening, and round of applause <laughs> to you and me for just being the best podcast out there, you know? So true. Well, bye.